We are very much satisfied with our turnout. Again, like we said, um, the ministry had granted us the time off for today. Um, for those who decided not to come, it's entirely up to them. That is their decision. We would have hoped, though, that they would have taken, they have made use of this opportunity because, as you all would have observed, it has been a very educational and informative session. And uh, that is the intention of the Belize National Teachers Union as we launch this Stand Up for Belize um, campaign because this matter is of national importance and I think our presenters have underscored that. Our members present here, those who have asked the questions, those who have raised concern, also have indicated the importance of such an activity. And again, like we've rightly said, it is the launch. We are hoping that within the next two weeks or so, we will be engaged in some other activity that will foster this Stand Up for Belize campaign. Based on what has been said, based on what has been said over the past few hours, from a cursory perspective, what can be translated into a curriculum going forward? What can be translated into a curriculum going forward? Obviously, one has, one has to be that the geography of Belize can be easily incorporated. The history of Belize in terms of our struggles, in terms of our independence, the struggle for independence, those things can be easily incorporated because those... Um, that bit of information does exist. In terms of trying to ensure that we get as objective uh, as information as is possible, there are already organizations such as the Belize Historical Society, the National Institute for Culture and History, they do have information that we can incorporate into such a um, curriculum. Our teachers, uh, some of our, our our subjects, I mean the topics we teach in some of our subjects already has some of those things. So it's just a matter of trying to consolidate them and then ensuring that there is a concentrated effort in ensuring that it gets out there. Sir, Ambassador Schumann made a call to the BNTU to at its next um, I imagine AGM or special general meeting passed certain resolutions. How would that play up? Would you even consider such a thing? The, the matter of, a, of resolutions being passed, we know that the BNTU has an annual convention. That is the highest authority of our convention, I mean for our union, that is the highest authority. And that body uh, makes, passes resolutions. And so in relation to the call, in relation to the call from Senator, uh, I mean Ambassador Schumann, those... Uh, recommendations, if you will, will definitely be taken into account. Our constitution also has provisions for a special conference to be called, in which then we would again bring in delegates, 10 delegates from each of our 10 branches to a special conference. Um, and that conference has the authority as well to pass resolutions.